to do is the first knot we're going to try to work through this evening is what's called an inverted Turk's head knot. So I'm going to show you here is the desktop. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to start with your rope and you're going to go and make an overhand loop. Now the trick to this knot is trying to figure out which way um, you want to weave. So what you're going to want to do is come up with think about basketry you go over under over under uh, as you weave the same goes for this knot so what we're going to do is I'm going to lay this end of the rope over and the reason how I came up with that is you can see on this side it wants to go over because it's under this particular loop so this is the tying end that we're going to go with so Think of this is what's called the standing end. It's not going to move. So we're going to go over. We look to this one now. Because we went over, the next is under. We look to the next line that's in the sequence to make the circuit. Because we went over or under, we go over. Then under this one and then over that. And when it's done, It'll look just like this. Now, for this knot, what we're going to end up doing is taking one of these ends that's at the side, and we're able then to move. In this case, we're going to follow back along where this is coming into the inside. So, over, under, over. going to go under this one again. You can see on this side we need to go over. You can see that part. We're going to continue to follow it right around. So this is the one we just left over. Now it's under, over the two, under the one, and you just follow right around in the circle. So what we'll have when we run out of basically slack with this is a line that's coming around double and to make up the difference we'll do the same thing on the, with the other side of our rope just following the same path. The trick to this is if the rope is to the outside edge, we want to make sure that we're following that, so never cross. So here we have one that's under two. We continue to move the knot a little bit more, and we can see that now this is over. Then we have two that go under, back around, and then when we're done, tuck this in and hide it. We have a very nice looking inverted Turk's head. Now the reason why we call it inverted is because it's flat. Many of you will also know this by another name and if we turn it and with a little bit of coercing with the ends of the rope we'll see what we now have what many scouters refer to as a woggle or it's woggle like so some folks like it that way other folks like a coaster so we'll squish it and we'll invert it either way the Turks said not